Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Angel and today we're going to be talking about something I could literally spend hours and hours and hours talking about. We're going to be talking about none other than our Lord and Savior, Taylor Allison Swift. We are going to be talking about some of my favorite Taylor Swift theories. Now, before you click off of the video, hang on a second, hear me out. We're not going to be talking about any of the theories that are like adding the numbers up or adding the dates up. I always forget the word for when you're dyslexic, but for numbers, calcul calcula, something like that. So those theories are just not up my alley. Those theories are a little too wild for me. And I am also not trying to convince you to join the cult. I mean, um, become a Swifty also. But I mean, you have to admit this lady is crazy. The planning, the scheming, the time. Where does she find the time? This girl's been on tour for almost a year now and she's releasing a new album next month. Anyways, before we hop into today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my conspiracy theories, fan fiction reading, Reddit stories, all that kind of fun stuff. Any of the TikToks that I use will be linked down in the description box below as well as all of my social media. And let's go ahead and get started. So the first theory I wanna talk about is the yellow dress theory. Now, this one I feel like has been in speculation for a while, but like after these past few weekends, it just can't be denied anymore. So if any of you watch any of the live streams, which to be completely honest, if you are not that much into Taylor Swift, I assume you're not still watching this video. So going forward, I'm just going to assume that everybody here watches the lives every weekend like I do. Now, if you've noticed, Anytime Taylor Swift has done something big or sang like an emotional song or a song that just everybody is dying for, What color dress is she wearing? The yellow one. She's worn this when she announced the I Can See You music video. She wore it when she announced the Bolter variant of the Tortured Poets Department. And honestly, the biggest selling point on this one for me is the fact that she sang You're Losing Me for the first time since she released it over a year ago. She was wearing the yellow dress. I That is all the convincing that I need, to be completely honest. So does mother, I mean, Taylor Swift, does Taylor know how much that yellow dress power, does Taylor know how much power that yellow dress holds or is it all a coincidence? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Theory number two is genuinely one of my favorite theories that I wholeheartedly like actually believe in. The Willow set at the Eras Tour is clearly a demonic and satanic ritual that is casting an evil spell on everyone that is at the stadium. Honestly, no notes. Theory number three, and I know I'm probably going to get a little bit of heat for this one, but Reputation TV is still coming before the Tortured Poets Department. Now, before you start throwing tomatoes at me, listen, hear me out. What I mostly want to talk about is the coloring of the album versus the coloring, obviously for Reputation, but the coloring that Taylor Nation and Taylor has been using during this time of the Tortured Poets Department. I always hate looking over at my computer and realizing I'm sitting like an actual gargoyle. Okay, the coloring of the album. It's not black and white, but it's also not like brown and white either. I would kind of consider it to be more of a sepia, sepia. I've literally never known how to say that word in my entire life. And that was my favorite filter in high school. Now, the other variants that she's released has been more on the black and white, kind of more gray side of things, which to be fair, makes sense with what I'm about to tell you of why Reputation TV still might be coming before the Torture Depot. What did I just say? Say. Taylor named this a tongue twister on purpose. I just know it. But with the variants being closer to black and white, more in that gray family, it, it kind of makes sense with what I'm about to say that Taylor and her team have been using to promote 
the tortured poets department. But I don't know. I don't know. So the day of the Grammys, if anybody remembers, Taylor and her team changed their profile pictures to black and white. Taylor Swift just changed her profile picture to black and white. Over the last couple of weeks, all of her friends have been changing their profile pictures to black and white. And I don't know if you guys remember, but back in November when we were all clowning, everybody changed their profile pictures to black and white. But Taylor did not. Today is the Grammys and I now have a very strong feeling that something's coming tonight. Now the original The Tortured Poets Department album cover is not black and white. And honestly, I feel like this is just gonna turn into is the dress white and gold or black and blue? What color do you think the Tortured Poets Department is. So here's just a few things that kind of make me think maybe Reputation TV is still in our near future. Taylor Nation tweeting out a black heart, the 1989 theme of the website being black and white for some people. And this one is more recent. Um, It actually happened literally today as I'm filming. Well, not while I'm filming, but it happened today. Taylor's shop section of her website was down. It had a black screen over top where if you click the corner, it would ask you for a password. It was around this time that fans noticed Taylor's website went down, taking them to this completely black page every time they tried to open the shop. It was after Taylor played those songs and dove back into the stage that this showed up on her website, prompting users to enter a password in order to access the next field. Um, as of filming, I don't have an answer whether or not the website was just down and the password was just for administrators and maybe it was down for so long because all of the Swifties thought it was an Easter egg. Um, and if that's the case, Taylor Nation, we are so sorry. But obviously, if there has been an update between now and the time of me posting this, I will absolutely include it. But what do you guys think? The next theory talks a little bit more um, about Reputation Taylor's version, but the next one is definitely more of a, um, of a hot take. Theory four is the Tortured Poets Department is just a placeholder for Reputation Taylor's version. Hopefully no one's broken their computer screen yet. Let me, let, let's just give me a second. So well, obviously this one goes hand in hand with theory number three, okay? But I just have to get this off of my chest. I don't know why, but something about the Tortured Poets Department is just really fishy to me. The length of the name of the album is just very abnormal for her. I feel like the cover is also kind of abnormal. The fact that the track list was leaked and there's also potentially allegedly leaks going around online for um, Down Bad and Fortnite. Now, listen, if those are not real and they're AI, can you just release them? Yep. Please. I loved them. And also, you should write your own music. Anyways, I think in the days leading up to the release of the Tortured Poets Department, I think there's gonna be a glitch and I think it's gonna be Reputation Taylor's version. Now, the variants definitely threw me off. If she wouldn't have come out with any variants, I would probably 100% wholeheartedly believe this theory. Um, however, I mean, I guess she would also release variants of Reputation Taylor's version if she's gonna come out with vault songs. Now, what is the information I have to back this theory up? Absolutely nothing. Um, except the famous line, there will be no explanation, there will just be reputation. There will be no explanation, there will just be reputation. And an inkling I have in my tummy. And my bestie who also believes this. But let me know if anyone else thinks this, because there's no way me and my best friend can be the only one that thinks the Tortured Poets Department is just a little fishy. Theory number five, and the last theory we're gonna talk about today is did Taylor hint at the Albatross variant at the Grammys? So as we know, there's a variant called the Albatross, which was just released in Sydney a couple weekends ago. But let's just take a second and and look at the bird because I don't know what I thought an albatross was. I don't know if anybody else remembers this song. F that little mouse because I'm an albatross. Fuck that little mouse because I'm an albatross. Oh, maybe an albatross is different. Whatever. I'll look into it when I'm not filming. But let's just take a second and look at the bird. Okay. Now, I didn't know anything about the albatross, um, but apparently the albatross spends the first six years of their life flying over the ocean before or they can take a rest. I know I said I wasn't gonna talk about numbers, but we're not adding anything up, okay? But Reputation was her sixth album, but also her and Joe were together for six years. So, you know, it could go either way. It could fit either theory of 
Reputation Taylor's version is still coming before the Tortured Poets Department or the Tortured Poets Department is just a journal to cancel Joe Alwyn, allegedly, potentially. Anyways, that being said, now let's look at Taylor's outfit. The black gloves and the black on the wings. I mean, I don't know if there's any Swifties that are like very big bird people um, that knew what an albatross was. I'm curious to know if anybody across the world looked at her and was like, she kind of looks like an albatross. I just want to know if anybody's had that thought because if you have, I want you to be famous. Anyways, that is all that I have for you guys today. What did you guys think of these theories? What are some of the theories that you guys hear? Um, I am just down the rabbit hole of Taylor Swift TikTok all day, every day. I'd love to go more into like older ones, maybe who allegedly inspired some of her old songs. I know there's always been a theory about her dad just buying out every store around him when her first album came out to get her to the top of the charts. That I feel like is something I would love to look into. Regardless, I am happy that Taylor is where she is at because we could not have made a better person famous. Anyways, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. That helps me know to keep making videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next one.